It was like I had all these superpowers, but I could not share them with the world. I felt like a retired superhero whose powers were no longer needed. All the magic I so desperately sought in books and movies was a way to escape reality for a very long time. I decide that magic exists where I choose to find it. I recently saw a video on YouTube and the title of this video was Without Whimsy I could not survive this society and I will link Fairy Soul's video down below so make sure you watch it after you watch this one. I was so inspired by this video because it resonated so deeply so I really wanted to share my own story and why I cannot survive this society without whimsy. But not only could I not survive without whimsy, my heart and soul just need enchantment and magic. So what do whimsy and enchantment mean? In the dictionary we find that the meaning of the word whimsy can be a playfully quaint or fanciful behavior or humor. For enchantment, the dictionary says, a feeling of great pleasure and attraction, especially because something is very beautiful. And I truly believe that every child is the pure embodiment of whimsy and enchantment before going to school and slowly getting pushed into a system whether they fit in or not. As Einstein said, everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability of climbing a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. I once saw a documentation where children had to draw a picture every single week for over a decade. And in the beginning the pictures were beautiful, they were magnificent, they were overflowing with colors and creativity and magic. But over the years the picture of these children became less colorful, less magical and less fantastic. It was as if the well of magic of these children had dried up more and more over the years. I remember crying while watching this documentation because it felt like I was looking into a mirror. It felt like this documentation, these children that lost their magic, their creativity was a reflection of my very own past. And suddenly I remembered how much fun I had taking a pencil and just drawing anything and everything that I saw in my surroundings. I remembered how my pictures lost their color and their magic over the years and how I started to lose my whimsy and enchantment over time. While I did my best and tried to adapt to the environment that was not magical at all, but rather technical and rational, nothing my heart could understand and still can't. But what I like about losing something is that we can find it again. If we lost something, we have to set out and look for it and it is usually closer than we might think. For a very long time I felt like I was not made for this world. Highly empathic, highly sensitive and autistic. It was like I had all these superpowers, but I could not share them with the world. I felt like a retired superhero whose powers were no longer needed. Or maybe they were needed more than I realized back then. I am certain that all the magic I so desperately sought in books and movies was a way to escape reality for a very long time. It was a much needed coping mechanism when everything around me seemed like too dark. Now, many years later, it's not about escaping reality anymore, 
but about enhancing and infusing it with a touch of magic and wonder and playfulness. The vibrant colors of the flowers, the drizzling of the rain. I love collecting twigs in the woods that look interesting and I love seeing fabulous creatures in the clouds. I love seeing things that remain hidden to others at first glance. A little bee in a calyx, a pretty snail shell hidden behind a leaf, a delicate glitter on the grass after the rain, the bark of a tree that looks like dragon scales or the delicate red sprouts of moss gently peeking through the dark green. Whimsy is the playful and light-hearted side of life, while enchantment brings a sense of magic and awe to our everyday experiences. So together they create a world where the mundane becomes extraordinary. So to me, finding the whimsy and enchantment in everything in my life is like coloring the picture of a coloring book. Without it, life would just be dull and lack the vibrancy that makes each day special. And of course there is days where life looks like that uncolored picture, where I only see its black lines and white areas and where I struggle to find the right colors. But on these days I remind myself that I decide that magic exists where I choose to find it. So romanticizing my life and finding the whimsy and enchantment in everything in life was a coping mechanism in the beginning for a world I didn't understand. But it became an invitation of all the pseudal magical moments in my real life. And in those moments of discovery, we reunite the spark of creativity and joy that often gets buried under the weight of adult responsibilities. So I invite you to find joy in the small, the slow, the seemingly insignificant details. Romanticize your life and buy all the vintage things you want if they make your home your safe magical space. Share your emotions, even though society taught you otherwise. Be playful again and just see life and the world through the eyes of a child again. And share your magic, even though it may be an unfamiliar thing. Because in the end it's all of these simple, slow and seemingly insignificant moments that make life truly magical.